Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. My name is Haley with Designer Wig Outlet of Mesa, Arizona. Today I am showing you some of the new light collection from the John Renault Smart Lace line. So right now I'm wearing Julianne Light um, by John Renault in color 12 FS8. This is my personal wig, um, so I just happen to be wearing it today. I'll talk about this one later today in a different video. Today we're going to focus on the Blake. So we've got Blake Light here in color 12 FS8. Yes, that's my favorite color. I do wear the Blake Petite in that color, so I'm excited to have it in. Plus it's a bestseller, so bottom line, that's what we're gonna have in stock is the ones that people walk in and take right off the shelf. So we also have the Blake um, Light in 6RN, a beautiful rich brunette color that can also be, be colored because it is a Renault natural. So very um, good colors here in stock, and let's go over the different features of these wigs. So we'll take off Julianne here. Toss her by the wayside. So I am wearing a fishnet liner because the wigs that I'm trying on are from the store stock and not my own. With the blonde um, Blake Smart Lace Light. So I'll put this on, but really everything's in the details. So just because you guys like how it looks, you know, right away, this one's not all about looks. It's really all about features and how they turn into that wig looking better and more natural. So there's more movability instantly that I notice right when I put the wig on. I can pull the hair more easily back and away from the face. Um, we have got lace that extends from completely from ear to ear and not only in the front, it actually wraps completely around the whole entire ear tab. That's amazing and it is a game changer. Um, John Renault is a obviously a top of the line human hair wig, but they are now giving us features that you would normally only see on folia caps that are three times as much money as John Renault. So John Renault is continuing to make a better product more within reach for us consumers, which is um, great and I'm so thankful for it. So here we've got a blonder highlight right here in the front of the face. So when we do style this one up and away, we've got that better looking lace. We've got that better color. We don't have the little black dots that you can see from the rooting. They've improved that, super exciting. Um, but then we're gonna really just dive into the internal features of this wig, cause that's where it's really at. So let's get up close with you, my friends. And we're going to take a look at this lace that extends completely from the bottom of the ear tab 100% wraps around all the way in the front to the other ear tab. It's amazing. So with this, you can pull the wig up and back, up into even a higher ponytail than you ever could before with a wig. Take a look at all the extra lace on this wig. This is not ready to, to be worn as is. There's a ton, like a third of an inch, if not half of an inch of extra lace here in the front of the wig. That's gonna need to be addressed and be trimmed back. Um, Okay guys, so you know how I preach about important purchases such as human hair wigs and buying them online without the help of a professional. This is not an investment that you would go off and cut your own lace. There are specific John Renault lace shears that are made to trim back the lace to make it look its best on this wig. Um, there are also indications um, that I feel that only a professional would know what and where and how much to cut, especially around these ear tabs. If you do take that more serrated edge of the pinking shears and cut the lace around the ear tab, that is going to increase your itch and your uncomfort. As, as that little um, rigid edge tickles the top of your ear, that would be so annoying. So certain parts of the lace need to be cut straight, whereas other areas of that lace front would look the best if they were cut with the draw. About the lengths of this wig, they varied from either from a half an inch to an inch from all of the other Blakes. So that's something we'll get into later. I made a handy little chart and graph for you guys to look at to see which ones have which lengths. The um, bang on the Blake light is going to be 15.5 inches as opposed to 16 on the standard Blake. However, from the crown, we've got longer layers. We've got 18 inches here on this piece where they're saying that the crown of the um, average Blake only had 17 inches. So we've got that little give of an inch here and an inch there. When I put on the wig, I don't notice a thing. I don't notice any difference in the length. I've probably had five or six flakes over the years and this one feels the exact same, you know, length. So maybe the factory just measured it differently. I don't know exactly where they're coming, you know, at us with different lengths. Okay, I know I'm a nerd, but I put together this chart so that you guys could take a look at the different 
lengths that um, John Renault is stating, you know, the Blake Light, the Blake Original, the Petite and Large, all have uh, different lengths depending if you're looking at the bang, the crown, the nape, or the sides. So take a look at that. They all vary from about an inch from here to there. I don't think you're going to notice a big difference when you actually have the wig on. Um, the weight of the Blake Light is only 5.8 ounces. That's an entire ounce lighter than, for example, the Blake Large. You can definitely tell a difference in the, the light feel and the less ounce weight um, here on this Blake Light. It's wonderful. Also, those color options. We can see that there are 29 color options in the Blake Light compared with 32 on so, the other um, One thing that definitely is lighter is going to be the weight. We're at 5.8 ounces. You can notice a huge difference, you guys. You really can. I can totally feel the difference of the light, um, the light density here on this wig in the way that it feels on my body and also just the way that it looks on the sides of the head and the crown. Why does the normal Blake always look like it's like super bulky right here at the top of the crown? They just put so much hair, you know, to kind of spread out up there. They didn't do that on this wig. The crown looks way better. I don't think anybody would want to get that thinned out for any reason. I'm super happy with the density in the crown of this wig. That's part of what makes it look better. That's part of what makes it look more natural. Sometimes I um, catch myself in a picture where my Blake, you know, looks amazing from the front. I've done it all just really cute but the back just looks so heavy up there and it just looks like there's twice as much hair as there needs to be. And that to me is a small indication of it being a wig. So I'm really happy with the new lighter density that I feel was taken out Color from the crown here. The Blake Light is going to come in 29 colors. Compare that to 32 colors in the Blake Average, Petite and Large. So they have actually eliminated four total colors and they have increased the colors by, by one more color that didn't used to exist. We, uh, in the professional world here with John Renault, we are very excited about the color two being introduced um, into the Blake Light. That is something that is gonna be so amazing, such a game changer. Their 1B was really, really dark, it was black. And then the 4RN was a true brown. There was no deep black, there was no brown black option. There was a missing color. All these years, there has been a, a totally noticeable missing color within the Blake line. So now they've given us color too. Everything is right with the world. You girls that wear that like light black, you know, extra dark brown hair color, which is so many people finally have your color made in the Blake light. Um, the colors that have been eliminated, I don't think you guys would have ever noticed. We've got that mouthful FS2B31V. That's gonna be your cherry chocolate with those deep purple streaks, purples and reds in with black. Um, wasn't an amazing seller, but if you really want it, you can get, get it in any of the other Blakes. And then we have got the, FS, the FS1226RN, which was literally a pumpkin orange um, dyeable color. So that was a professional only color that a colorist would, um, would color light in or darken. And really nobody is, is gonna be attracted to that color right out of the box. So they've stopped making it because now there's so many good colors that you don't need to create something beautiful starting from an orange you know, color. So thankfully you can just order something beautiful right away. That's helpful. And then the 2216 S8, that is actually a predecessor to the Venice Blonde. Venice Blonde is just kind of a renamed, revamped, they've reintroduced the color 22 F16 S8. It already existed, but now they, they um, threw a slash in between the colors to separate them, 22 slash 16. It's the same color that it used to be, but they've eliminated off of this wig in lieu of creating it in that Venice Blonde so that they don't have a duplicate. So, John Renault, um, I love your new Blake Light. It's really exciting. Thank you so much for creating something even better on the market for us girls that rely on human hair wigs. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that we have these in stock here in the store. We have the ability to um, sell you any color that is made in it, and that's a whole 10 days before it's going to be released to the public. So if you're interested in going ahead and getting one now, we are matching pricing, period. We're matching the same pricing that online will sell it to you for. So give us a call and get this Blake uh, light right now. All right, thank you guys. Have a great day.